Commuters and motorists who use the stretch on a daily basis experienced one of their worst nightmares on Monday, April 19, when a gridlock on the stretch lasted for nearly four hours, leaving many stranded. Most of the people who were on their way to work complained bitterly about the situation. Some attributed the traffic to the activities of street hawkers located at the Amasaman bus terminal close to the police station, deep potholes on the stretch, and the unmotorable state of an alternative route through Odumase, among others. Look at the traffic, getting to one hour, I'm just wasting my time. You know, so you need help, you know, yeah, government should do something on it. Why are you moving from and why are you going? Oh, I'm from Sum. Going to CMB. Look at the time I'm wasting. Getting to one hour. I'm still in the traffic. So I don't know the reason. And what is it the authorities are telling you? Is it that you've not seen any policeman around to tell you something about this? Yeah, nobody is uh, not around. Mm. I'm just looking around. Nobody is there. No any traffic person is there. Traffic has nobody is here. Wow. So all the drivers are starting to pass around us. So me too. I'm just want to do. Or obey the rules and regulations, so I'm in the traffic going. And how is this worrying you as a driver? Oh, I'm just wasting my petrol. You know, I just bought a petrol, getting to 500 Ghana, I'm still in the traffic, so I'm wasting petrol. Just like you can see, yeah, it's terrible. It's bad, it's bad. I've been in more than two hours now. Wow. Yeah. Moving from where to where? I'm coming from Odan. I chance it precisely. So, from before Asamakese, I have been in till now, almost over two hours. I'm stressed, I'm tired. Oh, and what is it the authorities are telling you about this? Um, for me, I thought because of the interchange, the traffic will reduce, but I'm still, I'm surprised it's still the same, I don't know. Getting to Amasama police station in front of there, you see that there's a bus stop. And people have taken over the pavement for sale, they are selling, which, has, which is also giving the buses a uh, challenge for them to park and alight the passengers. Okay. Why the buses are supposed to park and alight passengers? That is why people are selling there. That place has turned as a market. So people don't get access to park and alight passengers. It will also uh, uh, increase the traffic around that area. And from here to the uh, uh, Pokwasi uh, interchange, okay. you see that the traffic was, is also serious because the traffic I'm talking over Amasama, people used to divert and join around uh, First off, that creates the traffic. You can see that we have spent over almost an hour. So you see, imagine how people will uh, leave to work. If there's emergencies, people are carrying ambulances, carrying patients to 37 Kolobu. You see the challenge that they have here. There's no way for them to drive fast and move with them. Even people are complaining about the interchange that they are on. But if we get there, the traffic is not much. You can see the purpose the police, MT2 police are there. They do check in. And it's also increasing the traffic. In fact, people really, you can see the way people are suffering here. Mm -hmm. So in fact, uh, the government to do something about it. Especially the Amazon and the market. Okay. For some time they stopped. Alan the government went, went there and they stopped. But the people are back there selling. We said want to go back to this uh, the market itself and sell. They on the roads are selling. So I've been in the traffic all the way from Insawam two hours. Two hours. Two hours. Why? The question is why? Somebody should answer like what is going on? If you want to work Fine, we all need infrastructures and all that, but do it in the night. Monday morning, people going to work, others going to hospital and everything, appointment, and look at the traffic. Wow. You know, it is ridiculous. So where are you coming from? From Kumasi. Kumasi. I started off from Kumasi at 4.30, and look at the time now, and I'm still in the traffic. So what do you want the authorities to do about this situation? I mean, they should find out what is going on, if they can let them work in the night. You know, night, you have people, less traffic less people traveling in the night so they could do it in the night as part of measures to address the traffic situation the municipal chief executive for gun west clement wilkinson says the assembly will immediately relocate the hawkers he says the appropriate authorities will be engaged to arrive at a lasting solution the potholes on the road is creating a lot of problems from the tow boot up to um amasama here it can take you about two hours being in traffic for nothing. You are just wasting your fuel and energy. Um, I've talked to the director of contracts and um, he told me that they are coming to work on it, the highways, the director of contracts. I'm telling the general public there should be exercise patience for us. In fact, if we see people, how people are coming from the other regions to Accra every day and in and out, it's very huge. 
and we have to do something about this particular road. What are the market women? The market women, um, in fact, they are on the pavement. But we are trying to move them to the main market. There's a lot of space at the main market. During the COVID time, COVID-19 time, we brought them, um, because of the social distancing, we, we, we brought them to the park. So uh, now, they are selling here, but we are telling them to go back to the market. And I'm sure by week time, you, you, I, mean, I mean, you will not see them here again. A road and building consultant, engineer Abdullahi Mahama, outlined some measures to be implemented to address the Amasaman to Pokwasi congestion problem. All vehicles who are coming to Amasaman ought to have gone to uh, by a kilometer away ahead of them, make the U turn at the Ejapia factory, and then join to Amasaman. In that design, once you are moving into the deceleration lane, and then waiting for a turn to make a turn and go through the acceleration and connect to the highway, there was not going to be such conflicts or such traffic. But in 2016, when the assembly leaders, Amasaman, decided to remove the bullocks at the junction, the left turn junction, because the uh, BRT buses were not in operation by then, that was the genesis of the problem at the Amasaman Strait. About 30 to 40 percent of the problems is as a result of the left turn on the highway. It's an illegal activity which was ensured by the assembly. So if tomorrow, 20th of April 2021, we bring that left turn to a closure, the traffic will improve significantly by over 30 percent.